The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and in this video, we're going to conduct a features inspection of the all-new ESA 45 from Italian-Croatian manufacturer Monikus. Recently making her debut in the U.S., the ESA 45 is designed in a down east style. With the option of either two or three staterooms and most everything else being fully customizable, she seems well suited for a comfortable excursion on the water. Let's begin where most of the entertaining will take place, in the aft deck. The aft deck immediately has that familiar feel and is a place of congregation while aboard the ESA. Monica's chose not to install fixed furniture and our test boat's owner configured their space with a table and chairs. The entire deck is teak, and in addition, the aft cockpit cap rails are teak as well. There's a transom bench to center. We did find the backrest to be a bit low for a long distance comfort. There are two separate storage lockers beneath the bench seating. The backrest cushion slides out of its fixed track to then allow the entire section to be lifted, revealing additional storage. Both the port and starboard are more storage compartments. With this deck configured with a table and two chairs, we found that this layout has enough unhampered room to move about. The removable sunshade is well supported and secured to the trailing edge of the hardtop. It covers over two-thirds of the cockpit area. Speakers and lights are mounted just forward. The headroom height here is seven feet. This boat was ordered with the optional passerelle. The passerelle is a desirable feature and its hydraulic function allows it to move up and down and side to side. A custom stainless steel gate partitions the platform from the cockpit. A washdown hose is housed in the transom. The exterior entertainment continues forward to the bow area. The sun pad is set in a fixed position. Moving to the interior features, the salon area is accessed via the aft sliding door, which when fully open measures three feet four inches wide by six feet three inches high. Mind the six inch step up when entering into the salon. The first thing we noticed was how bright the salon area was. There's no shortage of natural light and earthy tones enhancing the teak decking. The abundance of terrace steps seems to separate each of the sitting areas. To port, the gathering is at a wraparound sofa upholstered in Alcantara leather, and there's an integrated wine cooler for over 10 bottles. There's an expandable table on a manually adjustable pedestal, which can be configured with a removable compartment box. A vent and shelving unit are to port. Adjacent and to starboard is a 42-inch TV with a pull-out drawer below. Above are the Webasto AC controls, lighting controls, 110 volt outlets, USB inputs, and the main stereo control panel. Speakers and overhead lights are located throughout the salon. The galley is located down below, down uneven steps, so make good use of the grab rail. We found the galley to be a practical use of space with natural lighting and no shortage of storage. The granite countertops provide a contrast to the natural tones and add a sophisticated touch to the look and feel of the space. There's a sink two burner stove top, a microwave is to starboard, the stairs lift providing access to additional drawers located beneath the microwave, an opening port light is providing ventilation, just around the corner is a freezer fridge unit. Moving forward down the main corridor we come to the master stateroom. The berth sits front and center and the overall symmetry and alpy wood finishes create a welcome feeling. To either side are two steps up, both LED illuminated, windows are to port and starboard, Long shelving space units are located above. To either side are illuminated cabinets. There's a shade for the overhead hatch which allows for full sunlight, partial and blackout shading. Aft and to starboard is the ensuite head. An opaque glass door divides the head from the vanity area. A wash basin is just below that. A small cabinet beneath the basin and porthole is above the shelving. Natural wood adds to the look and finish and continues the warm earthy tone we found throughout the rest of the boat. There's a colorful splash of mosaic tiles and mounted shower unit just forward of the head. The decking is teak in this area. An opening port light provides ventilation and a full length mirror is behind the door. Our test boat was designed with twin accommodations which were located just off the main corridor and to starboard when exiting the master stateroom. The twin accommodations are configured in a traditional fashion and there's a built-in table between the two. A single opening port is above a storage cabinet at the foot of the outboard berth. There's access to the day head via the forward door. It includes a wash basin, hardwood countertops and electric flush head. There's shelving space above and opening port above that. With their warm earthy tones, natural wood finish and general arrangement, the ESA 45 is a welcome addition to the already timeless Downey style boats. 
Since new owners are involved from the original design phase, every detail of the ISA is finished to the customer's needs and wants. As for our experience, she certainly contains the creature comforts we've come to expect of a boat in this size range, as well as a definite touch of practical sophistication. She was well equipped to turn an afternoon cruise into a multi-day getaway. She's also a great boat to be driving, but that's all featured in another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, this is my full features inspection of the Monicus ISA 45. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.